Hi, I'm Dave with ClearPath Robotics. Now that you have your Jackal unboxed, we're going to go through how to get it set up and working so you can start into your research. We open up the Jackal. Inside you're going to see the battery bay down at the bottom. At the back is the MCU. Uh, this is what actually talks to the motors and controllers um, and actually drives the robot when Ross tells it to. Up here, there are two thumb screws, which you can undo to fold down the, con the computer bay. And inside here, you have the computer, and you also have the power module. So to connect to your robot, the first thing we're going to do is take an Ethernet cable, plug it into either port. It doesn't matter. The ports are bridged. And we can hit power to turn on the robot. Then we're going to plug it into your computer. Now in your computer, we have to set up the network to be able to talk to the robot. So in this case, I'm using Ubuntu 16.04, but for this step, you could use pretty well any operating system. So for me, click on networking in the top right and go edit connections. And we're going to add a new connection and Ethernet. I'm going to call it anything, it doesn't really matter. Go to our network settings under here, change it to manual and go add. Now, this robot is using Kinetic. So, as of Kinetic, all our robots are standard on the 131 um, subnet, um, whereas on Indigo, some were on one, some were on 131. Uh, so if your Jackal is Indigo, you want to set something up in the one subnet. Um, but since it's Kinetic, we're going to set it up on 192.168.131. And then pretty much any number. So I'm just going to pick 51. And a net mask of 24 or 255, 255, 2550 uh, will work. So hit save, close. And now up here, I'm going to choose that connection. So it says I'm connected. If I open up a terminal, I can do ping 192.168.131.1. Uh, and that, that will be the robot when using Kinetic. Um, if it's Indigo, it'll be uh, ping 1.11. So it just depends on your version. But since I'm pinging it and I'm getting responses, that means everything's working. So you can connect to the robot with SSH administrator at um, 192.168.131.1. Uh, I have a previous robot that I've connected to here. So. so when you connect, it might ask you uh, if you trust the key that this robot is using. Uh, so yes. And clear path. So administrator is the username and clear path is the password. Now that we're logged into the robot, you'll want to set up Wi-Fi. You don't have to set up Wi-Fi to be able to use your robot. You can do it through, uh, through Ethernet. But if your robot's driving around, it can be kind of convenient to have Wi-Fi. So what we're going to do is type in wicked curses. So the first thing we need to do is set up the interface. So if you hit Shift P, that will get into your preferences. You can probably leave the wireless interface the same. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but make sure to delete anything at a wired interface if it's there. Up here, under external programs, if you're using Kinetic only, you don't have to do it for Indigo, uh, you come down here and you hit space to select DHCPCD, uh, which is the, uh, the DNS daemon uh, that registers your robot with the network. So hit Shift S to save. Now we're going to come in here and set up uh, our actual or the connection to the the network we want. So go to your the network you want and hit the right arrow key. Come down here and select use DHCP hostname. Um, you can enable this if you have multiple access points, and you want to automatically connect. You can hit space just to enable these. Um, you want to use encryption if it if it's set up on your network. Come down here to choose which kind of um, connection type or which kind of encryption you have. And then uh, enter your, uh, your, pass, your passphrase. 
So you type in your password, hit Shift S to save, and now you can hit Shift C on that network, and you'll see down at the bottom, it says validating authentication, connecting, uh, and it should go through, obtain IP address, and then it will connect. So once it's connected, you'll see your wireless network up here is green, showing that that's the one it's connected to. So now it's connected, you can just hit Shift Q to get out and type exit to close that, uh, the SSH connection. Now that you're connected, you don't actually need your ethernet cable anymore. So you can take that and unplug that. Now your robot's all set up on the network. So now that your robot's connected to the network, uh, you wanna make sure that you can actually talk to it from your computer. So with your computer connected to the same network, just type ping. So now you wanna use the robot's host name. Um, which out of the box for a Jackal, it'll be CPR dash J100 dash and the serial number that's in it. For a Jackal, the serial number is right inside the front here. So in this case, this robot is 0278. So ping CPR J100 dash 0278. And you can see it's pinging um, the IP address that's here should be um, the same as uh, what showed up in Wicked Curses when it connected. So that means that we can talk to our robot, which is really good. So the next thing we wanna do is actually start using ROS, which is the development framework you're gonna be working on. So you'll have to install ROS. To, um, to get that set up, if you go, uh, if you just Google how to set up ROS Kinetic, um, because again, this robot's Kinetic, so the, the machine you wanna work with also should be Kinetic. Uh, so if you Google how to set up ROS, there's a bunch of instructions. Uh, we could put a link somewhere. Um, so once you have that set up, you'll want to do sudo apt-get install ROS kinetic desktop. And this will install uh, all the necessary ROS packages as well as uh, a lot of the graphical tools that you'll need to work with your robot. Then um, you'll want to connect to our PPA or our package server to be able to get updates for your robot uh, and to work with those packages as well. So to set that up, go to packages.clearpathrobotics.com uh, and that'll walk you through how to actually set up the PPA. Once that's all set up, you can do sudo apt get install ROS kinetic jackal uh, desktop. And, oh, it's not all installed in mine. Uh, so that'll install all that. So what this will do, this will um, install all the URDF and description packages on your machine. It'll install um, your RViz um, settings and everything so you can talk to the robot really easily. So what we want to do to make sure that ROS is working properly with our machine, you need to go export ROS master URI. Uh, which tells your computer where the ROS master or the ROS core is located. In this case, it's all running on the computer inside the Jackal, so that's what we want to use. So HTTP colon slash slash CPR J100 0278 and then colon 11311, which is the port that the ROS master runs on by default. Now you can do ROS topic list, and it should list all of the topics that are running inside the robot, uh, robot um, in ROS right now. So we do ROS topic echo jackal velocity controller ODOM, it should start spitting out data. Uh, this means that your computer is networked properly with the robot, ROS is running properly on the robot and on your computer, so you can communicate back and forth that way. It also means that the computer inside the robot is connected properly to the MCU, uh, which is connected to the motors and encoders. So it means that everything on the robot is all set up and should be ready to work. Okay, so now that we're connected and we know that ROS works back and forth between them, uh, you'll want to start up some visualization tools that just make it really easy for you to start working and start verifying um, how your robot's working. So you can do ROS launch Jackal Viz View Robot. This will start up Arviz, which will, uh, uh, with a, a set um, setup already. 
that will show your robot. It will also show some standard data that it uses. Uh, and we'll also give you the means to just drive it around inside of here, which is really convenient. Once you're done working with your robot for the day, it's generally good practice to turn it off uh, and charge the battery overnight so that it's ready to go for the next morning. So inside, you can unplug your battery and take it out. Uh, turn off your jackal first. You can just hit the power button and wait for it to shut down. Or if you're really impatient, you can hold down the power button and it will just kill it. You can take your included charger, plug it in. And then take this connector here and plug it into the white one. Uh, they're keyed, so there's only one way you can plug it in. You can't plug it in backwards. So plug it in, it'll click, and these both lights will turn red and your fan will start spinning. Uh, once the fan stops uh, and a light turns green, you know that your battery is fully charged. Now inside here, you also have your power board. Um, on the power board, you have 5, 12, and 24 volts, which are broken out right here. Um, the wiring for that is will be in your manual. Um, each one is fused at a different voltage uh, and has an LED indicating uh, whether there's actual voltage there or not. If you uh, plug in a payload or something that ends up blowing a fuse, um, you can replace the fuse with just a standard automotive fuse, but make sure to only replace it with the rating that was on the fuse there before. Um, on the actual circuit board itself, it does show the rating of the fuse that should be there. It's very important that you don't put in a bigger fuse uh, than what it's rated for. That can cause damage to your robot um, or, or your peripherals as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions um, or you want more tutorials on things to do, check out support.clearpathrobotics.com. And thanks for watching.